Hello everybody, today we're doing another uh, video um, movie review. In this video we're going to be doing a movie review on Bonnie and Clyde, 1967. And this right here is actually one of my favorite 60s movies. And it has one of my favorite actresses, which is Faye Dunaway. She's a really great actress. Um, it also has Warren Beatty in it, which I haven't seen him in that. I think this might be the actually only the, the first movie I've actually only seen him in. Yeah, I haven't actually seen him in any of other, his other movies that he did, but I do, do know that he did some really good movies. I have seen Faye Dunaway in a lot of her movies. But, um, yeah, so let's get right into the review. So, this movie, of course, got released in 1967, and at the time it was very controversial because... Um, they were starting to put in like pretty violent stuff in here and it was too much for audiences back in the day so it was very controversial with all the violence and stuff that was put in here with all the gunshot scenes that they did and uh you know but the movie though is such it's just such well art film made i mean the art is perfect the movie is just fantastic and you know this you can you know get right into the characters of Bonnie and Clyde and how they just start going from one to a hundred basically in this film and uh yeah so you know you know it, for the time the movie was very controversial but it was really it did win I think let me see here hold on it won best supporting actress um I'm not too sure what kind of awards it won but I do know that at the time though know, when people saw it because it was that shocking in a way it did get some good views but um yes the so directed of course by arthur penn he did a really good job on this um you also have uh what's his name in here uh so it's also got gene hackman which he's a really really good actor and it's also got i don't think it says it on here but it does have gene wilder as well and as we all know, he's from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. So I think that was pretty cool that you get to see him in here. Of course, this was four years before he did Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. But yeah, so I just, I think this movie was really good. And, you know, when it starts off, it just starts off with showing uh, Bonnie in her house. And then she, that's when she meets Clyde and they go on to this, you know, they go, they start falling in love and they start going into this little uh, diner area where they, get some food and then they start robbing places and then they get this gang um when he when Clyde meets up with his brother uh uh Gene, Gene Hackman in the movie and uh that's really uh where it starts getting to the all violent part when they start robbing the banks and then the gang comes in so yeah this movie was really good and it's and it was very controversial for the time um and yeah, uh, also if you want to see the artwork inside the disc, that it is, the disc artwork is actually pretty good. I like the disc artwork. I, as as you y'all probably don't know, but I do really like disc artworks as well. I like how they put the art into it, so I think that was really nice. But yeah, um, so yeah, this movie is a very good movie. I've seen it about like two times, or I'm probably going to watch it more. because It's really good. And yeah, so definitely check this out if you're into movies, because this is a really good one. So I highly recommend watching Bonnie and Clyde if you like crime movies, especially crime thrillers, because I love crime thriller movies. And so, yeah, this was really good for the time. So, yeah, there's uh, Bonnie and Clyde 1967. There's my little review on it. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments, and I will see you in my next upload.